Hi, I've got a question for you. How much does it cost if you lose your data? Personal data, how much does it cost if you lose it? Business data, how much does that cost if you lose it? Think about it, I'll be back in a second. So in this video, I'm just going to quickly cover how much it costs to recover data if it's lost. I've got two examples for you. One is a business example, one is a personal example. I have here a hard drive that belongs to the wife of a managing director of one of the companies we look after. And she runs her own small business. On this drive, which comes from a laptop, there is some personal photographs. Photographs of her children. Who can put a price on this? I, I'm not sure I can. The, the data, is basically two or three years worth of, uh, of memories, treasured memories, and there is no backup. This is the only copy. The problem with this particular drive, you can see it's still sealed in a, in, in a uh, we've kept it sealed in this bag, and there's a reason for that. We've tried to recover the data as best we can and had no success. That doesn't mean it's the end of the story. This particular drive has a problem with the circuit board. As far as we can tell, by putting a stethoscope on it and listening to the drive as it's turning, everything internally is working fine. Um, it's just this, this interface that isn't working. So the way that the data needs to be recovered is that the, the drive itself needs to be opened. The platter that's inside that turns around very, very fast, 7,200 RPM. That's quick. Um, that drive needs to be taken out. The platter needs to be taken out and put into an identical drive. Then, using that drive, we can then recover the data. Now that goes beyond our, not beyond our skill level, but beyond our facilities. You see, we don't have a clean room, and any dust contamination on that drive would render the data useless, and the, and the data is far too precious for that. So what we have to do is send this off to a data recovery specialist. Here's the thing with a disaster recovery service. This particular disaster recovery service will charge us 1,000 pounds to look at the drive and recover the data if they can. And the word if is in there. It's a thousand pounds regardless. They sometimes recover the data, sometimes they can't. The reason we've used this company six times in 15 years is because they so far have a 100% success rate. So they've charged a thousand pounds, but we've always had the data back on another drive sent back to us along with the original drive. There's your data, thank you very much. But it's a hell of a risk. A thousand pounds, you might or may not succeed. So that's from personal photographs, memories, treasures, and all of that stuff, which is the really important stuff in life, right? Look at it from a business point of view. Let's just imagine for a moment that we have a problem with, our, uh, with a server and we can't boot the server, we can't get the data off the server, so we go to the backups. At that point, we realize that the backups haven't been running for two weeks. No one knew. What's the cost of the business? If you've got 10 staff at £10 an hour, the maths is a lot simpler, isn't it? You can quickly work out that's £100 an hour, £800 a day, £8,000 in two weeks. 30 staff, 50 staff, the numbers start to get very big indeed. That's the true cost of not having an accurate backup strategy. If you would like to know how to design uh, what goes into a good backup strategy, subscribe to this channel because we're about to launch another video in the next few days that will tell you exactly that. We also have other content that we do every Tuesday and Thursday, so subscribing is a good idea. And if you've got any questions at all, please comment on this video. We always answer the comments. All that's left for me to say on this occasion is thanks for taking the time to watch. <laughs>